Hi, I'm Alice. So I had a secret. I tried to die by suicide when I was twelve. The pressure I had come from one of my teachers, my stressful schedule, and my light conversation with my parents. They found out what I was doing. They were scared and angry. So they told my English teacher, who was my room, homeroom teacher. And the next day, she had a conversation with me. The only person outside my family who knew that I tried to die by suicide. She held my hand and said the words that I will never forget in my life. She said, "At least, go see the world around you before you die." She talked a lot. She said, even though she was teaching English, she has never been outside of China before. She wanted to go out and see what's happening in the world outside of China. She wanted to go lay on the sand under Hawaii's sunshine. She wanted to go feed the seagull in Sydney. Or even it's just been enough for her, just travel in China. To see the clouds on mountain areas, or see the horses running on plains, she never done any of that. But I did it. I did it after I talking to her. I was lucky. My parents saw the error of their ways, so they changed it and helped me to do all those stuff. Because her words. Inspired something inside me that I couldn't name, gave me vigor and passion to do all those things. I saw snow in Boston and feed the seagulls. I played in the prettiest ocean I had ever seen in Kona. I see the clouds settle down on mountains slowly, like a monster was eating them. Well, I watching the sea wheel build high and. The How under the dark clouds, I feel what she wanted me to feel and what she wanted to feel. It's the power of nature. When you feel surrounded by warm sand, when you smell the rain through your nose, by the time you realize how huge nature is, the connection between human and nature will appear secretly. So does anybody ever walk through a road that's long and deep, in between a rice or grass field that's taller than you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody did. Okay, so I spent a long time in my childhood、um, in country with my grandparents. So I still remember it was a vacation before I、uh, went to primary school, and I went with them together one time to have a reveal. But unfortunately, I got lost. I still remember. I can hear the cicada yelling on, around me. I can feel the sun burn on my skin, and I can saw the golden grass blind my wheels. I feel scared. It was not the road that made by a machine. It's a 2010 in China. Farmers dug it out step by step. It's a road that's full of imperfection, a mere extension of the natural world. I can't describe exactly what feeling I had, but I assume that it was like a curiosity about the unknown, combined with fear and confusion about being at nature's mercy. And. That kind of building planted a seed in my heart that helped me find the roots of my life. I believe it's not only me. Everyone can feel that, and everyone should feel that. It can come from everywhere: the floor we are standing, the sky we are under. It helps you find the purpose of life, transcend everyday human experience. Whenever you look out the window, whenever you see those things that human can create, you can feel that 
We are a little part of nature, not under or above it. We are peers. As for never giving up on my life, the idea you can will watch the huge moon rising up slowly at the end of an alley in Beijing. In human history, civilization originated from river valley. Science developed from understanding the love of the environment, as a means originated from the reverence for nature. We had never left it. Whether in the West or the East, the development of all different civilizations has been inseparable from the use and, and protection. So I believe, have a mutually reciprocal relationship with nature is necessary for the continuation of humanity. So I try to find a perfect ending for the speech. I watch a lot of other TEDx and see how other speakers end their powerful statements. I saw they sing, they cry, they beg on the stage. I feel speechless. How can I convince you to trust a teenager like me? And the answer is, after you have a wonderful, enjoyable vacation with nature, you will feel the connection. And you will be out. Thank you.